example, the athletic program is a big deal. The student athletes are there. There's, there's no reason to. Uh, I know there's going to be emotions for the fans. That's the beauty of this. They are passionate fans. I mean, that's one of the things that's that's moved this program for us along is having so many dedicated, passionate fans. And I, I recognize that they're going to be out there, and there's going to be negative comments, and uh, there's going to be division. But my role is to you know unify this as best I can, not just inside the athletic department, but with the university and the foundation. If you had a vote today, what would you vote? Uh, I'm glad I don't, and I, I wouldn't try to even answer that. There's too much emotion for me personally in today. Does this uh, change your own timetable about how long you might be in the job? No, it, it doesn't. Um, you know, I, I committed uh, Dr. Postal indefinitely in, in terms of, uh, you know, how long I would stay. I didn't come in with a, dime, a time frame. I didn't come into it with expectations. Uh, I came in to help, and it was really uh, more from the heart than it was anything else. How, how do you change things now, your mindset now with hiring and finishing up some of the projects here? Yeah, I don't know that my mindset has changed today versus the first day I took over. I've been very focused on what our agenda is in the athletic department, and we're continuing forward. I, I don't pay attention to the noise. I've been in uh, turnaround jobs before. I've dealt with uh, situations. I've followed legends a couple times in my life. Uh, I don't want to tell you I'm unfazed by it because this one's more personal to me with, with Tom. But uh, we're working hard over that department, and, and uh, we've exhausted a lot of hours and effort, and it's going to continue. There's a what concern to about, offer to Tom. What words would you offer to Tom even after this? Uh, thank you very much for all he's done for on behalf of the student athletes and, uh, and, and uh, what he's done for the community and, and, and the sports. I mean, it, it's obvious uh, there's a lot of good support out there, and for good reason. Um, so. What sense do, of uh, commitment to athletics do you get from the, the current board of trustees and the president? Uh, very high. I, I think it's unfair some of the criticisms going on. Now, in my meetings with uh, with uh, David Grissom and, and uh, Dr. Posto have been terrific. They have been supportive. I just think it's a little bit of noise gets going the wrong way. I've had the uh, for, I've been fortunate to work with them from the foundation. Uh, we've had good working relationships uh, with, uh, as I mentioned, with with Greg. It's a little different. I was handing him his budget from the foundation, and now he's going to hand me one. Um, but I think in that regard, we have a good working relationship. I don't, I don't hold anything back from them. I'm as genuine with them as I am talking to you guys right here. So you don't think athletics is going to be de-emphasized? I'm not going to let it. Do you see any reason to undo the Adidas deal? No, I haven't seen anything yet that would tell me we need to undo the Adidas deal. I've, I've read the document. I've talked to uh, Mark King uh, at Adidas. We're working through it. I think that uh, I'm still gaining a better understanding of it because there were some long-term projects inside of a long-term agreement. So we'll have additional meetings so I can get clarity on that. But uh, today, I, I don't see that. If offered the full-time job, would you accept? Uh, you know, I don't. I think it's an unfair question at this point. I really do. Uh, it's it's. Uh, you know, this is something I came here for the student athletes and the coaches. I. I, don't, I didn't come here with an agenda other than to help. It, it was an emotional decision by me in meeting with uh, uh, various leaders here. So I, I'd, I'd rather avoid that today. I don't think it's time to answer it. Vince, oh, what's up, Lady? You, there seems to be, I know you've been a fan all your life. There seems to be a fracture between the fan and, and this school right now. What would you say to the fans after today? Uh, well, again, Jody, I, I, I appreciate the passionate fans. I mean, I, I don't have a problem them speaking up, and I have a problem them supporting Tom and what's happened here. I, we've got a elite program for good reason. Um, I would say continue your support that, uh, you know, you need to think about the, the bigger picture. We have a university here that's it's education first, and, uh, you know, our role is to fill on the athletics. I know how important it is to the university, um, and, uh, you know, we'll continue forward. You worked with, with the more. coaches after the initial, after Excuse you me? were introduced. You worked with the coaches after you were introduced. Yes. I mean, what do you do now after this, this final vote? I've had, you know, the coach has been very supportive. Um, I didn't discourage them from the letter they sent out. I said, if that's the way you feel, let it be. Uh, I don't take any, I don't have any insecurities about that. Uh, I'm on the phone with them, talked to four or five of them last night on my way back from Miami. I've, you know, I've continued to communicate with them. I'm open, honest with them about my own emotions and theirs and what we need to do about that in terms of uh, not losing pace. Uh, I, I feel great about where we are with the coaches. Are you what about concerns about might leave? I, mean, just I don't have any concerns about anyone leaving. I don't. From uh, from the veterans to the, the newbies, I've tried to get around to everyone, and I've got maybe three or four teams left to speak to on the student-athletes. I've got to them all as time avails, uh, morning and night, and uh, just encouraging these student-athletes and making sure they're aware of what my expectations are on effort and conduct and uh, how I was raised and how I expect them to act uh, representing this university. What, what did you get out of the meetings and how did the ACC, what, what kind of was the feedback you got from the conference? Uh, very supportive. Uh, 
Commissioner Swafford and I have spoke multiple times, and uh, so much so that he's he's highly encouraged by the progress. He actually asked me to speak in front of all the ADs. So I spoke in front of the whole uh, the meeting yesterday and talked about what we're doing, what we're doing proactively here, as it relates to the situation we're in. How we're you know risk management is a key for me, just like running any business. Risk management is key. The steps we're taking here, and afterwards, I received a number of business cards from ADs asking to rip off ideas. One more, anybody? One more. Thank you.